Hi everyone, so today we're talking about the penguin tetra. Now this is a really active fish and it's a schooling fish as well. It's actually very easy to identify by their penguin black and silver markings. You'll notice that the black stripe actually starts from just behind the eye and then it goes all the way down to the base of the tail and sometimes gives them the name hockey stick tetra. And if you haven't noticed by now just by watching this video, another giveaway that this is a penguin tetra is that these fish have a peculiar swimming style and they all swim in a very odd upright sort of style so they're not fully horizontal but they're kind of tipped towards the surface of the aquarium. In the wild, a penguin tetra would be found in South America, in Peru and Brazil's Amazon basin. They stick amongst dense vegetation, which is used to avoid predators in the wild. Reaching about 7 centimeters in length, these are slightly larger than your common tetra, like neons or rummy nose. They enjoy being kept in groups as it helps them to feel more comfortable, and shockingly, it actually helps to reduce the level of fin nipping. Now these fish, as you can probably see in the video again, they like to bicker, and by keeping a larger shoal, it helps dilute, helps dilute that aggression. Most of the time, penguins are found closer to the surface of the aquariums, so, so by adding these to your aquarium, you'll actually be able to add a, a slightly different character to your setup. I generally find that the level that the penguin tetras fill is a level which isn't commonly used by most fish. As with most tetra, the penguin tetra is not fussy at all. Despite being more of a mid to upper dweller of the aquarium, they'll happily venture to the lower levels for food, so you're very safe with feeding dry food such as flake or some slow sinking pellets such as bug bites. Live or frozen food is always a must for these types of fish. They like Daphnia, brine shrimp, blood worm, and they'll all be readily accepted. Now, being an active schooling fish, you'll generally want to aim for a group of about six or more. Now with this in mind, you'll want a reasonably spacious aquarium for the fish to explore and swim around. So aim for an aquarium with a larger surface area at around 120 liters in volume, they could be kept in a smaller aquarium, but you'll arguably lose a lot of their natural behaviours by condensing them down. As mentioned at the start of my video, these fish love planted aquariums, so try your best to replicate with a nice amount of plant coverage. These fish also contrast very well against a green or a red background. Most penguin tetra available today have been captive bred, so, so they would actually be adapted to deal with a wide range of water conditions. However, optimal conditions would be a pH between 6 to 7.5, hardness between 4 to 8 degrees general hardness, and a temperature ranging from 23 to 29 degrees. And actually from being from the Amazon basin, these fish can be kept in black water conditions if you really wanted to, however, it's not at all necessary. When it comes to tank mates of penguin tetras, when kept in a group, Penguin tetra are very peaceful, and generally keep to themselves. Avoid mixing them with overly large or aggressive fish that would either bully or eat them. Good tank mates would be other small tetra, like neon and rummy nose, black widow tetra, dwarf cichlids like rams, Corydoras like sturbi, peppered or bronze, or even some Loricaridae catfish, like a clown pleco. Your selection is kind of limitless when it comes to uh, penguin tetras as they're so, they're so peaceful as long as you keep them in a group. The only advice would be just fair warning if you're keeping them with some long finned fish like angelfish or guppies, maybe even some gourami, just keep an eye on, keep an eye on them because they can actually become quite nippy. Not to the extent of something like a tiger barb, but still well worth just keeping an eye on because it wouldn't be fair to put them in an aquarium where another fish can't escape there aggressive little mouths. Now I hope you found this video useful. If you actually have some of these penguin tetra at home, then drop a comment below and share how you keep them too. Have a good day and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.